Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Mikey. Hi, hello, welcome. In today's video, as you can tell from the title, we are doing backyard camping. Basically, I invited some friends over and it's BYOT, bring your own tent, and we're gonna do like a little backyard camping moment. And we're treating it like actual camping, like, we're gonna move all the furniture out of the back so that we have room for our tents. We're not gonna hang out inside. You can only come inside to basically wash up, use the bathroom, or maybe just get anything you might need or forgot, like kitchen items or stuff like that. The goal is to actually use the back as a little camping moment. I had this idea because we used to go camping quite often and it's been a minute since we have and I think it's just been hard for our friend groups who like to camp to all be able to find the same time off so that we can all go camping for a couple nights. So I figured, why don't we just like camp in our backyard? Let's let's see how that goes, see if we get like the same vibes as actually camping. Because I just want to be out, outside under the stars with a fire going, um, eating some really warm comforting cozy foods and just hanging out with friends. In terms of food, me and Donnie are actually gonna do some warm soup dishes. The first one we're gonna cook tonight is Arascaldo, which is a Filipino porridge rice dish with chicken and a lot of ginger. It's very comforting and cozy, especially on a nice cold night outside. It just really soothes your soul. I'm so excited for that. I'm also gonna do a classic beef chili uh, recipe in the crock pot. I'm probably gonna cook that either tonight or early tomorrow morning so that it's ready for camping and then we're also gonna grill some hot dogs so basically we could do like a nacho chili cheese chips moment or even like a chili cheese hot dog um, so yeah those are the things me and Donnie are gonna be contributing in terms of the potluck I just told everyone else just to bring whatever they want to share even though it is camping it's gonna kind of be glamping because we're gonna put our TV out there and play like video games we're also gonna watch a scary movie this October so it's spooky season so that definitely warrants a scary movie. I think we're gonna watch Talk To Me. The reviews are really good. And then yeah, we're just gonna be outside cooking, playing games, hanging out, putting the fire on, and doing some s'mores. So yeah, it's gonna be fun. We're gonna do that tomorrow. But before we actually camp, we have quite a few things we need to take care of and do. Like I said, we're doing it in the backyard, so I definitely wanna remove all the furniture because I want it to be a true camping experience. Everyone's bringing their tents, also their camping gear, whether that's like camping chairs, little tables, stuff like that. I keep saying this, but I do want it to feel like real camping. And then I also bought a new tent because the current tent we have is a, it's huge. It's like a four to six person tent and I don't want to take up so much room in the back because space is limited. So I ended up buying a smaller tent and it's like a pop-up tent from a company I believe called Gazelle. It was referred to me from my best friend and she really loves it. And it's one of those tents where you just pop out to the sides and then the top and you're good to go. So it's supposed to take like a minute to set up. And if you've ever been camping, if you know, you know, setting up a tent can be really annoying especially when it's really windy. You gotta get all the poles together, prop them up, and it's just like a, it's a mission basically. And so I'm really excited to test this out. So we're gonna test that out today just to make sure it's good for tomorrow. Let me show you guys this cool warmer I bought from Amazon. I'm planning to put all of our light dishes here so that it'll just stay warm throughout the night. Let me turn you guys around. Okay, so I picked this up from Amazon. It's actually their Amazon commercial brand and it had pretty good reviews and I believe it was like 70 bucks, which is not bad, especially since you're getting a three warmer unit. These are all 2.5 quarts, so not the biggest. I wish they were bigger, but I couldn't find any bigger ones. This was the biggest one. Some of them were 1.5, this is 2.5. I love that it has latches right here. So you can open it and it stays open for easy access. And then these actually clip off too for easy cleaning so you can take out the whole lid. It's hard to do with one. There we go. So that's great for cleaning. So we have three of these warmers. So basically what I'm thinking to do is I'm actually cooking, here's our crock pot. I'm cooking the beef chili in here and then I'm gonna transfer the chili into these two and then put the nacho cheese in here. Okay, so now let's check out the backyard situation of where we're actually going to camp tomorrow. So, the goal today is to move all this furniture here. I'm probably gonna put it in the side yard and put it against this wall so that we still have an area where we can pump in, pumpkin carve. That way we can use this area for like all of our camping chairs and stuff, um, maybe even a tent. 
I'm thinking maybe we're gonna either watch the scary movie here because we have an outlet right there where we can plug in the TV and the switch so we can play video games. Or I was also thinking it might be cute to everyone kind of set up here like a little picnic moment and then put the TV in front of this tree so that we're watching it looking that way. If I put the TV here, we have a, what do you call it, an outlet on the top corner right there that provides power for these lanterns. So definitely have access to an outlet over there. And then I also wanna move all of this stuff away. I'm just gonna throw it in the side yard so that we could set up our tents here. So yeah, that is the situation in the back. So I'm feeling like tents, chairs over there, maybe more tents on the other side. I don't know, we'll see. We'll kind of play around once all the furniture is out. Quite a few things we need to do, but the work day today is done. I didn't, I don't know if I mentioned it, but it is Friday and I'm done with work. So I'm gonna get going. The girls are ready. Huh, hey, you guys wanna go camping tomorrow? In our backyard. <laughs> okay, so I think first thing I wanna do is move these guys. I don't know if I could do it myself. Oh yeah, not too bad. I'm gonna put it over here. Move this one over as well. Oh. And there we have it, a little pumpkin carving section. <laughs> so this is where everyone can just carve their pumpkins if they bring one. This is how it's looking here. A lot more space for like tents and chairs and stuff. All right, let's move this stuff now. Okay, so this is how this is looking. Um, I'm leaving those chairs up for now because I might as well just wash them down. This is really heavy, so I definitely need help for that. The couch, I'm gonna push it more that way once I have help as well. Let me go ahead and start rinsing the ground. All right, so we're all set. The backyard is clean. Right now we're just gonna head to Vaughn's to grab some ingredients for the things we're cooking. And then I might put up the tent tonight, depending on if the back is dry, or I might just do it tomorrow morning, we'll see. But other than that, I will check in with you guys later. All right, y'all, we are back home. I got all my stuff for my beef chili that I'm going to make in the slow cooker tomorrow morning. And then brought out some other stuff. Just wanted to show you guys real quick. We have a bunch of centronella candles for mosquitoes. Hopefully we're good on the mosquito front, but just in case we have centronella candles. Found this at the grocery store. Thought it might be cute. A little glow in the dark bracelets. Some antibacterial wipes. I bought this on Amazon a long time ago and just found it in my office. So it's like, oh, we could actually put these on our tents. That would be really cute. And then I got this little mini solo stove. Like how freaking adorable is this? So this would be really cute for like putting it on a small table and doing some s'mores on there. Also, it looks pretty dry back here. So I think I am gonna set up the tent real quick just so we can see how it looks. So let's go do that. All right, so here's the tent. Again, it's by Gazelle Tents and it is a quick pop-up setup sort of tent. So let's see how easy this is to set up. Oh my God, that is so freaking easy. All right, let's go inside. And all you gotta do is basically grab this and pop it all the way up. And there we have it. Tent done, amazing. Ooh, it is hot in here because none of the windows are open, so I'm gonna get all the windows open. But just for reference, I'm 5'8", 
I like to say 5'9", but I'm probably 5'8", and I am bending a touch, so I can't fully stand. But I do fully stand. At least I can stand, but it's like literally. So, just for reference. But this is actually really spacious for a three-person tent. Let's get the windows open though, because it is hot. I do like that there is a bunch of windows, so you definitely can get some air. Cool pockets right here for stuff. All right. Hi, Ikes. You want to come inside? Come. Yay, good girl. Yay, how do you like your tent, baby? Huh? You ready to go camping? Don't pee in here, girl. <laughs> all right, so on all sides, you have a pocket right here, so there's one. Two, three, four. What is this? Do I take this out? I don't know. Also, you have another pocket up here and a skylight. So if you are in rainy conditions, it does come with a rain cover. But since there shouldn't be any rain in forecast, we're going to leave it open so we get some ventilation. And there's actually another door over here. I didn't know that. Nice to get some more air in here. All right, Aiko, let's go. Come on. Here is how the tent looks. I'm actually super happy with it. It was so easy to put up. Super spacious in there. I'm actually really loving it. Highly recommend this. It is Gazelle Tents. And I got this off Amazon. Still gotta move this guy. All right, y'all, so I think that's gonna be it for today. I will check in with you guys tomorrow when we do our chili and also just get the rest of our camping gear out there and start setting up for our glamping backyard camping experience. All right, talk soon. All right, good morning guys. It's the next day and we are up bright and early. I wanna get my beef chili into the slow cooker because it's gonna take about six to seven hours to cook. So I just wanna make sure that's ready by the time people are here. We're gonna go ahead and do that right now. I have all my ingredients right over here. So basically all we gotta do is brown the beef and then throw everything in the slow cooker with all the other ingredients and that's it. Oh, obviously chop the onions, jalapenos, and I think that's it. But yeah, this is one of like the easiest recipes. It's a classic chili recipe. So good, so easy, so comforting. All right, here is how the chili is looking. Basically just put everything together. So this is gonna cook for about six hours and it's gonna get really delicious. All right, here is the wood we got from someone local. So all of this is a barrel of wood with only $25. At the store, if you get just like a little bit of this, it's already like eight bucks. So such a good deal. We are back home. We went to run some errands. We got some firewood. We got the propane tanks and then other just miscellaneous stuff at the grocery store. But let me show you guys what's happening right now in the back. So this is the situation. We got the firewood right there. All of our camping gear here. Some blankets for people to use if they get cold. Bunch of chairs, tables. So now I kind of just have to make this look a little bit more aesthetically pleasing because I definitely want this glamping moment so we're gonna set this up and then as people come they can just add on to it so let's get going All right guys, I think I am done setting up. Obviously when people come, they can move about how they wish, but I kind of just wanted to make this look good 
for the initial video so I can show you guys how everything is just laid out in the back. So let me show you guys real quick. So here's how it's looking so far. These are our camping chairs, but obviously people will bring their own and they could just set up wherever they want. This is how it's looking with our chairs and setup. We have some blankets over there in case anybody gets cold tonight. Grill and stuff and food will be over there along with like the cooler, drinks, everything. And then the dog bed out here so they can chill with us. And look how cute this little solo stove is with a little mini firewood. <laughs> but we have the firewood here as well as the big solo stove so that people can sit on the bench and around it, put their chairs around, do some s'mores, whether they use the little solo stove or the big one. We have another table right here. We're, we might do pumpkin carving, so that's my pumpkin right there. So my thought process is to have everyone's tent be in the back here and we'll just put like little twinkly lights. So it'll look like a little cute compound, if you will, with like the twinkly lights, the market lights up there. We'll probably put the TV right here to watch the movie. We have a little section right here for all the games. More people will bring their own blankets and stuff so we can sit, play games, and then just more options for chairs and chilling over here and then later on this will be fully shaded so we could do pumpkin carving here for those who want to carve their pumpkins so yeah this is how it's looking pretty cute so far if i do say so myself and then i think it'll look even cuter once all the tents are here with the lights a little cozy backyard glamping all right y'all quick update we got another cult member here <laughs> putting up their tent. We got the TV out for scary movie night. <laughs> Gyps is here. <laughs> so we got the warmers over here. We have our nacho cheese. We have our chili. Whoa, look, that looks so good. It's gonna be so comforting tonight. We have Donnie's Arascaldo right here. Looking delicious. We got, we're gonna get the grill going for the hot dogs. So you could either make some like chili cheese dogs or just classic with normal condiments. We got three tents now going, two more to come. So we're we'll probably one here and then the biggest one here cause Liberty and her family has the biggest tent. So I feel like this is gonna be a good area for her. And right now we're just chilling. Jibs and Lady are inside catching up. Spin. Spin. Okay, so we got these little twinkle lights, so hopefully it'll look cute tonight when it's dark. Our little compound will be lit. <laughs> Litty lit. Chips is putting his up. It's Christmas and Halloween. Everybody. Oh, it twinkles, huh? Oh, I didn't yeah, know it twinkles. Sure it does. It can twinkle or it can be steady. <gasps> oh, There's two settings. I think I like the twinkle. Our fourth resident has moved in. Yeah. <laughs> moving day. This is the current president. <laughs> we might get ousted tonight. I don't know. <laughs> Tell me, could we turn back? Oh, please don't go. Stop, breathe, wait a little longer. We begin stronger. Stop, breathe for me. Alright, guys, I am literally on my hill and everyone is here. We're just having a really good time. Uh, this is why we ended up buying a house with a backyard. Before this, we were at a condo, but. One of our main things was wanting to be able to entertain, have friends and family over, and so this literally just fills my heart, and um, I don't know, I'm just so happy and wanted to share this moment with you guys, and so, yeah, let me show you real quick how our, how our setup looks. Let me turn you guys over. All right, so here is how our camp setup is looking. Over here to the left is kind of like our communal area where we have the fire going with our chimney, but also the fire pit here. And everyone just hanging out here and then to the right is kind of our, we're calling it a compound because that's kind of where we're setting up a camp for tonight to sleep. And so we have five tents over here. We're watching Talk To Me, I think it's called. But yeah, I love it. I wish you guys were here with us. Yeah. 
Oh my god, how cute is this? <laughs> I love it. Hey guys, what's up? It is the next day, or well, I guess the next night, but I just wanted to come on here and talk to you guys about our backyard camping slash glamping event. It was so freaking fun. I think that if you like to camp, you should definitely try it if you have a backyard. It gives very similar vibes as actually going camping and just being outside under the stars. Obviously, you don't get the aspect of, of being sort of secluded around wilderness, but it still gave a pretty good vibe. So. I think it would be good if maybe you had some friends who weren't keen on camping and they wanted to try it. This would be perfect for them. Or if you have never camped before but want to try it, highly recommend camping in your backyard. All the stuff that I have will be linked down below just in case you're interested in it, especially the tent. The tent was game changing. We actually ended up staying up till 2.30 in the morning, which is crazy. Like. I sleep so early, so I'm like really proud of myself for staying up that late. Yeah, so overall just a really amazing time and I can't wait to do it again next year and uh, maybe we'll up it a notch somehow. Yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed coming along with us for this backyard camping. If you did, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't, comment, share this with anyone you think that might like my channel. I would so appreciate it. I'm growing but very slowly maybe like one subscriber a day which i think is fantastic but <laughs> it is a slow growth anyways as always guys thank you so much for watching and if you can try to choose happy over sad today and i will catch you in the next video bye everyone Boop.